Hello again, welcome back to Asgard, and welcome back to Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles. So I actually just killed an Enderman, and he dropped two Ender Pearls. Awesome. It was actually like right before, because I hadn't found any Ender Pearls, so I was like, well, chances are we can find them in the astral, the astral Temples, or maybe while we're looking for one or something like that, come across the Enderman. So I was just going to leave it up to chance, and happened to go to the top of the tower and look around. There was an Enderman right over there in that little flower field. Pulled him over, managed to kill him, and uh, he actually got me down to two hearts. So it's been it's been regenerating. I do like the regeneration in this pack because you don't have to be at full health to regenerate. But um, I did do a little bit of work between episodes. But I know we're getting close to the astral sorcery sand generator, so it's you know kind of pushing, <laughs> kind of pushing for that at this point. I did uh, spend a bit of time making some brownstone, and if we come up here, we actually get a little bit of a speed boost when we're on brownstone from Tinker's construct. And it's no more than just a little bit of gravel, sand, clay, um, or sandstone, but um, sand, <laughs> you know. Um, I did spend a little bit of time, I was laying out, uh, I did make some rustic lanterns to add some light. I haven't made all of them because we've still got some torches up here. And then if we look down there, we can see our crops growing. Um, of course, right over here is where doors are going to be. And then I made a little bridge that crosses over this, and we can go over to the other side. Of course, the other side is not done yet. Um, I also crafted up a bunch of Inferium Seeds. These are all Tier 1s down through here. Um, that's all I can really afford to make, even though I did make a couple more Tier 2s. I basically ran the Tier 1s that go across and come over to here. And then we have Tier 2s right here, all down through there, and then we have Tier 3s right here. So that's where we're up to at the moment. Mostly all Tier 1s, but... <laughs> but I'll, I'll change them over. Basically, I'm going to shoot for all Tier 2s, and then we'll shoot for all Tier 3s, and so on. Uh, so anyways, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be continuing on towards Astral Sorcery. Um, now, there was an update, so a lot of the main quest line has been changed up. Uh, we do have some quests completed. Of course, this one we completed the last episode. Um, but there is some new quests mixed in here, like we no longer technically have White Magic Tier 1 unlocked because we need 9 Leather to unlock that. Uh, we'll get into this stuff later. Like, there was some changes, and I think, um, I remember in the patch notes there was, like, some other changes. But I think that's the main ones that affect us are in that first tier. Um, and then the shop rewards, I noticed that there's now, it's weird, uh, I think this is a, this is just a little, uh, I don't know, not really bug, but, like, oversight thing. Right here, which I don't think we've ever actually made Cyan die, but we have the quest completed. Uh, or, I don't think we've ever purchased it. I think this used to be something else, though. But anyways, there's 20 cyan dye here, but over here, there's 15 light gray dye that's listed as a cyan dye, but then there's also light gray dye here, so I don't know. This quest, I don't think is meant to be here, it's meant to be something else. But anyways, there were some changes to some of this stuff. You could see, like, the rice slime balls. There's a quest here for rough brownstone now, which I actually, I just updated. The update just came out, I guess, that changed this, but there's a quest here for rough brownstone. I'll get that, um... I'll get that the next, I still have a lot of that stuff to make, but I'm just kind of waiting until we get sand. So I wonder, it leads into olives, I guess just because of the speed boost. Uh, yeah, from making roads, so I guess that's why that's there. But we'll get some uh, some free brownstone from it next time I'll make some brownstone. Because it's actually what I'm using for the tops of these, uh, the tops of these walls, so that works out. Um, but that update just came out. So, of course, at this point, um, there was another update since the last episode. It's been a little while since my last recording. There was another update since the last episode that actually removed, fully removed Thalmcraft. Uh, so that is no longer in the pack. Which I did hear that uh, that's being taken over. I believe it's King Lemming, if I recall correctly. I think he's taking it over. Um, so we'll see how that evolves and, and everything. But right now, it's... You know, still on the fence. I'm not putting it back into the pack I've been working on yet um, until I know for sure how that's going to work out and how that's going to go and whatnot. Um, but that's being taken over. There was also, I don't know, there was a bunch of, there was actually a bunch of changes to the mod pack uh, since the last episode. There was a bunch of things that have, uh, that have changed, new mods and stuff like that. But, uh, but anyways, what we're going to be doing today um, is working on Astral Sorcery course we're going to be continuing on where we left off and if we go right here uh, we left off working on the five aquamarine quest 
Um, and before we do that, there is one other thing that I would like to make just really, really quick. And that is I'd like to make a scoop. Now there's the mana steel scoop, um, which is arguably, I don't know, it seems like it's a little bit cheaper <laughs> than going with the standard scoop because we have to make iron rods, which require uh, methane gas. They have to use the blacksmith workshop and uh, it's really not that bad, but mana steel's even cheaper um, at the end of the day. Plus we don't have to worry about the string mesh part of it. Uh, we just use wool. So we're going to go with Man of Steel. Of course, we should have... Well, I've got Man of Steel plates left. Um, oh, and by the way, the Hydrangea ran out, and then I replaced it with the other Hydrangea that we got as a reward, and it's ran out too. So um, we did run through all of those. I do want to make a scoop, and the reason being I am running into these hives, and I don't want to waste them, but I've been running into these hives that are kind of in my way as far as building goes, and I want to, uh, I want to get rid of them because they're kind of they're kind of in my way so there's our mana steel scoop it's actually got a little bit higher durability if I recall correctly than the than the standard scoop so it actually kind of works out well um, that we're going ahead and crafting that one anyways so there's this one right here the unusual hive now technically I should make a smoke or two because these are gonna damage me if I don't um, but it's not really a big deal if we take a little bit of damage so, yeah, it's like four four hearts of damage. Not all that bad, I don't think. But, yeah, see, there's a hive right over there, and then there's a hive on the other side of this wall as well. And I want to get rid of these. <laughs> because this one especially is, like, really in my way um, as far as building goes, and it needs to go. There we go. But you can use a smoker. You'll also notice, like, there's a floating hive. There used to be, I think, a dynamic tree there. Dynamic Trees was removed from the pack as well. So, uh, just a heads up on that. Um, but yeah, you'll notice that we can just break these. We don't have to worry about using the Smoker. The Smoker is just going to prevent the bees from damaging us. Uh, not a big concern for us, I don't think. Um, okay, so we've got some Meadows drones. We have Unusual drones and Unusual Princesses. And a little bit of Honeycomb. So, that's good. That's good. Um, Alright, let's head back. Whoops. There we go. Let's head back over here to the base. I'm going to go drop this stuff off. And then we have to go out. Some kind of a building over there. Um, we have to go out and see about finding. Well, I need to make that aquamarine for starters. And they wanted five of it. What does it take to make the. Uh, whoa, it's tier five. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, okay, so we're going to have to make some of this. Some more of this. Uh, Three more crafts of it. There's a pretty good chance, though. Didn't... Wait a second. Didn't I get... Uh, yeah. We got two Aquamarine at the end of the last episode. So, we do have that. So, I just need... Uh, I just need two crafts in that case. So, let me grab this. And I kept that marble on us because we're going to need it probably this episode a bit. Uh, this Lumium, let's go ahead and dump that in. Okay, and I've got enough here for two crafts. So... There's that, and then we have we have one ingot. Okay, I'm going to have to make some more of that. It's going to be some more glowstone, which that ender pearl, that's actually one more than what I need, um, I think, today. But if you recall, I want to automate water, and we can actually use this ender pearl uh, to automate water. So we'll probably do that maybe next episode or something. There might be, I might actually record a couple episodes back to back because I want to get the sand and the, the, you know, the easy sandstone and stuff in order. Because after I get that, then it's going to make building a whole lot easier. Because I'm going to have sand for landscaping this. I'm going to have sandstone. Of course, this tower is actually pretty close uh, to being done as far as needing sandstone. I just have to add the very top, which I actually didn't really use any sandstone. Aside from making brownstone, I didn't really use any sandstone between episodes. But um, I'm going to have other structures that are going to be built out of sandstone. So I do need some more of that. Um, okay, so we've got enough Lumium now. There we go. And we'll just dump that. There we go. Now we have six Aquamarine and quest complete. I don't mind if we find some at the... Whenever we find that structure, it's fine because we're going to need this stuff regardless. Um, okay, so we get two Living Rock, four Prosperity Shards, and a Silver Coin for that. Um, next up, the Resonating Wand. Once you have found a large shrine, you'll want to dig into it 
find the uh, collector crystal inside. This is all standard. Put the crafting table down near it. Craft the resonating wand. Um, this is this is where we needed the ender pearl. I remember. Um, and then we also need some marble and aquamarine. Okay, I've got all that stuff on me. So we have to go out and find a structure. Um, now there's also the crystal ore, or the, uh, uh, not, I want, not crystal ore, star metal ore is what I want. This is standard, it requires the, uh, of course for that, I think we're going to need a linking tool for that. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay, it might be a little bit before we can make, uh, I don't know. I'm going to grab this iron ore. We're going to take it with us. But anyways, we are off looking for a temple. I'm actually probably going to head, yeah, I'm going to head off in this direction, in fact. Because I know that there are some high elevations here. I mean, right now we're at Y64. We did have that astral, uh, little, I want to say astral temple, but it wasn't, little astral fountain <laughs> over by our base. But generally, these things tend to be more common at higher elevations. So if we go over here to where the snow and stuff is, there, you know, we might come across um, what we're looking for. We'll see. We're going to hope so anyways. So I should probably grab a couple pieces of wood as well. I'll grab them off these big trees here. I want to make a lumber axe before too long because it's going to make chopping trees down uh, just a whole lot easier for us. Okay, so there's a crafting table. Awesome. Okay, this might be a little bit of a journey. I'm actually going to grab this. There's more mallow berries. I have been spreading those. I don't know if you noticed, but I've got like uh, six or something planted. That looks... No, that looks like snow just floating there. I think that's where dynamic trees used to be. And since they've been removed, the, the snow is still floating up there, but the, the trees are gone. So, man, there's a lot of marble up here. <laughs> this is like Marble Mountain. Hey, that's what I'm looking for, right up there. Um, oh, Abitite. I've actually been looking for this, too, because we can make fertilizer. <laughs> but normally it spawns a little bit higher in elevation than I'm usually at, so... Uh, it tends to spawn a little bit higher, anyways. Uh-oh. There's a dragon up there, too. Awesome! <laughs> Is that, in fact, uh, yeah, that's a dragon. That's not good, because I know that uh, dragons in this pack are pretty buffed. So, um, I remember reading the patch notes, and it said that dragons had a whole lot more HP. Um, <laughs> I will say they're buffed in my pack, too, but um, they actually don't spawn in the overworld in my pack. So, I was thinking, for some reason, that they didn't spawn in the overworld here, and I was like, oh, wait. They do, actually. They do, in fact. Okay, that's fine. What we're going to do, this is all assuming that this dragon doesn't notice us anytime soon. Okay, what we need to do is we need to open this up. We'll just break that block uh, so that we can see the uh, the sky through the middle of it. That's very important that we go ahead and do that. And then we'll go ahead and break open that sea lantern. And right there is our floating crystal. So, we have reached... <laughs> we have reached the shrine, and um, my inventory. Okay, so here we go. Let's see what all we got. Oh, we got a plushie. Uh, there's constellation paper. This is with VCO in it. We'll go ahead and dump that into there. Then we got another one here with Armara. All right, and then we got some aquamarines. We got mana steel. We got mana infused ingots, iron, gold, the circus baby plushie, nickel, peas. What do we have in this one? My inventory is not great. It's not great at all. I need to upgrade that backpack. That's something that we're going to do. We're going to do here soon. Um, and then in this one, we got uh, first up. That has nothing on it at the moment. I'm going to put it right. Actually, I can't put it away right now. It will have something on it later. I'm just going to put it away for now. And we got an Ender Pearl. What do you know? And a silver coin, which will actually stack. Cool. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our crafting table, we're going to place this down, like right there, just as long as it's near the floating crystal, it'll pick up the starlight from it. And then to make our resonating wand, it is like this, that, and that, and we can get our resonating wand. There we go. And you can see the little beam is attached to it there. Resonating wand complete, and we get two aquamarine, a common loot bag, and a gold plate. 
technically I have space for it, but I'm going to wait to turn that in. I'm not in a rush for any of that. Um, and then next up, Crystal Marble. With this wand in hand at nighttime, walk around the surface of the world and you will see glowing light effects coming from the ground. These markers are locations for Crystal Ore. Crystal Ore spawns around Y level 4 and below. Requires a diamond pick or a pickaxe with a mining level obsidian. Um, we actually have a diamond pick, so that's not an issue. Um, let's go ahead and grab... I'm going to grab this emerald. I'm going to go ahead and mark this as well so we can come back to here. Um, the Circus Baby Plush. I'm going to grab that. And I'm going to grab uh, this Man of Steel, I guess. Now, there was there was something added to the pack that I actually just forgot about. Um, it's a Warp Home mod. I remember seeing it. When I was looking at mods for the pack, I came across it. Uh, you know, the pack that I'm working on. I'd come across this one, and I remember seeing it. Because you can, you can set a home point, and you can warp back at the cost of hunger. Um, is how it works. Like, I remember, I can't remember the name of it, but I remember coming across it. Um, I didn't put it in there because I've got, I've got other methods for warping, you know, decently early. But, um, I remember, I remember when I was looking through the new quests that are added to the first chapter, I remember coming across it. So, um, oh, I should probably walk around with this, huh? Of course, I don't have any inventory space. Yeah, there's, right down there is a crystal ore. So, we can actually just go ahead and mark it. And we can come back during the day. It'll still be here during the day. But the monsters won't be here <laughs> during the day. So, that's always good. And there's a chest right here. We'll go ahead and mark this. Oh, there's a crystal ore over by this tree. I imagine there's generally a lot of them. Normally, they're pretty common. So, uh, I'm not worried about finding every single one of them. But this will give us some places that we can come back and, and loot um, here soon. And it looked like the next quest is going to be Sooty Marble. So that one's that one's pretty easy as well. Uh, just a little bit of marble and coal. Oh look, I have an animal pit on this pack too. Now I might get hit after that one. Yeah, I thought I would. There was a zombie like right behind me whenever I stopped. I need to eat food. Man, it looks like there's some crystal ore literally right outside of our door. There we go. I think we got enough marked. Um, if you look at the map up at the top right, there's crystal ore literally everywhere. Like I said, it is very, very common to find it. And there's a spider guy right behind me. And he is after me. I think he got stuck. No, he's coming over the wall. Okay, so let's go out and see if we can get ourselves a little bit of crystal ore. I'm not sure... I'm pretty sure we're not going to get a rock crystal ore, though. Oh, that's a break block task. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Oh my gosh, there is stuff everywhere. Okay, so I'm going to head back up this way, and we'll go mine up some of that rock crystal ore. Okay, this one right here seems fine. <laughs> oh, and I forgot to set the set home thing. That's fine. We'll do that here in a minute. I'll mine a little bit more of that granite. I can't mine too much. My pick will break if I mine too much. But I do need it for roads. And we're going to start needing it for a lot of roads here soon. So, um, But yeah, we have to go down pretty much right around bedrock. And um, that's where we're going to find our rock crystal ore. So, Okay, yeah, right here. Awesome. There is rock crystal ore. This is, uh, this is luck too. Okay, we're probably going to get quite a few rock crystals. Let's see. Oh, wait. I can't use this pick. We're going to have to use the one that doesn't have any fortune on it, which is regrettable. That's fine. We got uh, two rock crystals. Awesome. Okay, quest complete. We get a diamond, an emerald, and a block of redstone for that. And then next up is sooty marble. All right. We're going to need eight pieces of that, which actually I've got, uh, I've got some coal on me. Well, we have to get out of here first. So we're just going to climb our way out. This hook shot's really nice for this kind of uh, for this kind of situation, like rock crystal uh, ore hunting. It's perfect for that because you end up digging like one small vein that goes down to bedrock, but then that's all you really need. And so it's perfect for uh, going down in those in those spaces. So uh, now sometimes you will find rock crystal ore kind of like clustered together. Um, that in that case we did not, or at least from what I could see. 
There we go. <laughs> and that guy had a lot of health. Okay, now to make sooty marble in this, is it marble and coal? It is marble and coal. Awesome. And we just need one craft of this. So let's go ahead. Just grab. I'm actually going to go ahead and just do two crafts because you really can't make too much sooty marble. It's a beautiful looking block, so it's great for building. But then in addition, you do use a lot of it for astral sorcery. So there's 16 of those. And we should get a quest complete. There we go. We get either five marble, five sooty marble, or five ten. I'm going to take the five ten, of course. Okay, and then we had this quest, the diamond, emerald, redstone. We'll go ahead and just dump that into there. And then we had another quest here for aquamarine, common loot bag, and gold plate. We'll go ahead and take that as well. There we go. And our common loot bag, we got magnesium. And the circus baby plushie. We'll go ahead and put this right there. <laughs> I do quite like the plushies. You know, they're just the Minecraft heads. I'm curious to see if there's like a quest for those or something. But I haven't I haven't seen a quest for them yet. But we found three of them so far. Um, okay, so next up, we need to make the luminous crafting table. Okay, we're going to have to go back to the crafting table that we set up over there. Um, to make the luminous crafting table, is it standard? Is it just, uh, let's see. I'm going to assume that it's standard. Crafting table, city marble, and a bit of marble. Okay, and then the light well. I want to take the stuff with us to make the light well, so whenever we get over there we can make that too. It's a rock crystal, aquamarine, and some marble. It has to be chiseled. Um, I'm going to need to grab my chisel, actually, before we go. And I'm probably going to go ahead and make... Um, I don't know if I want to go ahead and make just one of them or make two of them. I might go ahead and make two. Okay, I'm going to grab a chisel. For some reason I have three chisels. And uh, quest complete. Chisel. Let's see. That's from this. We get ten oak fences and a copper coin. I'm going to wait to claim that too. That's, uh, they added fancy fences uh, to the pack. So that's that's in here now. Okay, so we've got, I think, everything that we need to go craft up our light whales. And actually, yeah, that's the next quest. We need to make the luminous crafting table and they want us to make a light whales. So, oh, before we leave, let's actually set the home point. Um, there's a quest for that in the first tab there. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to set it just inside of this tower. And we're going to say, uh, I don't remember the command for it. Right here, set home. Uh, slash set home or create home. Just set a waypoint and then back to teleport back. Okay. So welcome to your new home to Asgard. Okay. So now if we do slash back, we'll warp back there. And it's just going to take a little bit of hunger from us. Alright, so we'll head back, and then after that, we shouldn't need the floating crystal too much after that. Um, we will still probably need it a little bit, because um, we're going to have to make the... Actually, the linking tool, I think, requires a rock crystal. If it does, we might just make one light well for now, and one linking tool, and then make some st uh, star metal ore. And, because uh, that, that would definitely be worth getting up and going. And getting into is the the star metal okay we are back i should have dumped off some of these blocks <laughs> that's okay okay so what we need to make first up is the luminous crafting table let me pull out this it was crafting table marble i didn't bring any more i forgot i meant to bring wood with me so i'm gonna have to step out uh, i got a creeper coming <laughs> Oh, no. Okay. It's like trying to knock me back into the creeper. I got the wood that we need, though. To craft that. Oh, my. What is that? Effect. Okay. We are back. <laughs> All right. So what we need to do, let's get ourselves a crafting table. Yeah. And then it's just one piece of sooty marble. So that, that, that. There is our luminous crafting table, and we learned about exploration. So now we can actually look and see the stats on these rock crystals. So we have a size of 240, purity of 32%, and there's a purity of 45%. Neither one of these crystals, you can tell the stats, aren't they're not that great. Uh, size can go up to 1,000. 
I, I think it can only go up to 500 on the standard. And then once you get the better ones, I think it goes up to a thousand. I can't remember, but, um, and then purity and cutting both go up to a hundred percent. So, I mean, these, these stats are pitiful. They're not even 50% on anything. So quest complete, luminous crafting table. Oh, there we go. Okay. So that quest is done. We can get two cooked chicken. I'm not going to turn that in just yet. Um, the, let's go back here. Liquify items. The light whale. We want to do this quest real quick. Now this one, it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, just a little bit of marble. We need ruined marble and two chiseled marble uh, for this. So there's that. And then we need the ruined marble. So that, 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 that. Rock crystal. And then was it aquamarine? No, it wasn't aquamarine. What was it? Yeah, it was aquamarine actually. Oh, that's right. I need to make this in the luminous crafting table, though. Let's go ahead and pull this up, and let's put down the luminous crafting table, and then we need... Um, oh, actually, I'm probably going to go ahead and make another one of these while we're already here. I'll do that here in just a second, though. Um, No, it's like that. That. Okay, and then we take our resonating wand and just right-click. It's going to start crafting for us. And there's our light whale. And then for another one of those luminous tables. It's like that, but I guess we can't craft it. Um, okay, I guess we can't craft the luminous crafting table in the crafting table. That's fine. That's fine. We'll do fine with just one of them for right now. I was just kind of wanting to tear two up at the same time. Now there's also the, uh, the linking tool. I wouldn't mind going ahead and making that uh, since we're already here, but I am going to need some wood. And of course, the only wood is way down the hill here. That's fine. Let's go ahead and go for this. Oh, wait. <laughs> this takes the starlight crafting altar. That's going to be a little bit, so never mind. Scratch that. There's the, uh, the light whale. We get creeper wings, copper coins, silver coin, uh, the liquefy items. Okay, this is just a quest that tells us how many... Um, Valid items starting with the lowest to highest starlight generation and highest to lowest shatter chance. Uh, aquamarine resonating gems, rock crystals, attuned rock crystals, celestial crystals, and then attuned celestial crystals. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Since we, um, since we can't uh, craft that linking tool yet, I was thinking that was normally like luminous crafting table stage. I think it's maybe gated back. Maybe I'm crazy, maybe it's normally there, but I, I could have swore it's normally a, a bit sooner for that. But let's go ahead and get a second light wheel, because it will definitely be worth it. Um, this quest here, I'm going to go ahead and detect some mint. There we go, that quest is done. There we go. Okay, so if we want to go home, we can do slash, uh, slash back. Yes. Okay, and you can see that my hunger is like drained, 100% drained. So we are back. Um, oh, it looks like the sun's coming up. Oh, that's regrettable because I was really wanting the sun to be down when I did this. That's fine. We can go ahead and look at the stone fluid tank. Uh, let's see. The stone fluid tank. I thought we already crafted some of these. I kind of swore that we did. Maybe I've actually got one up here. I was thinking that we already crafted a fluid tank for something. Okay, I don't have any. I think we already crafted one, though. Maybe for the blacksmith workshop or something. Maybe. <laughs> I don't remember. I do need some more glass, though. So I'm going to get uh, I'm gonna get that smelting up. Okay, so there is our stone tank. Dun, dun, dun. And we're going to get... Uh, quest complete. There we go. And we get either two nether quartz and oak bookshelf or a very damaged anvil um, I'm actually probably <laughs> I'm actually probably gonna take the oak bookshelf I guess that'll be fine um, and then they have a quest for getting a bucket of liquid starlight we actually get a liquid starlight sale or two aquamarine or a common loot bag okay well now we need to wait until night um, in truth it, we get a little bit better generation at night um, I'm not for sure if can we make a fluid transfer node? Yes, we can. 
Uh, we're going to need bronze ingot, red alloy, and electrotene ingot. Uh, that's fine. And actually, I think I've got some electrotene iron compound. Okay, well, let's go ahead. There's our red iron compound. And we'll get this stuff smelting up. So we'll have that. Uh, the bronze we should already have on hand. Yes, we do. And then we're just going to need some glass, which I've got some glass smelting. Um, and that's just for the transfer node. This part is pretty easy. I've got a bucket. This is just going to make it a little bit easier because we can set this up to automatically generate while we're waiting for the sun to go down. And that's, that's perfectly fine because we're actually going to be using transfer nodes um, a bit next episode as well. Because next episode we're going to get the actual sand generator built. So that's the plan. Okay, so our, uh, oh wait, never mind, we can't. We have to get the engineer's workshop first and silicon. <laughs> I was thinking that was crafting table, and it's not. Okay, um, oh, what does this take? This is cheap. This is actually very, very cheap. Well, what's it take to make silicon? Can I make this in the, uh, I can't make it in the one thing. Um, I can make it in the smeltery, though. It's going to take a lot. Uh, one silicon bowl, though, makes a bucket. That's perfect. And then to make the transfer pipes, how many buckets? One bucket. Perfect. Okay, so... My inventory is wonderful. Let's go ahead and dump that into there. Oh, that smelts, like, super quick. And then we'll get that poured out. Uh, the engineer's workshop, though. Uh, to make this thing, we're going to need copper plates, uh, wood, and wood tank. Okay. There's the wood tank. Then we're going to need another piece of wood. And then we're going to need some copper plates, which I've got a few. I don't have enough, though. I'm going to have to make a few more of these, which is fine. We've got plenty of copper, plus we just grabbed a whole bunch more while we were out, so... There's those. And there's that. Engineer's Workshop. Which, there's probably going to be a quest for this later, but... Um, we're also going to have to make some tools up, too. But we'll do that here in just a second. Okay, now the, the transfer. We need six bronze ingots. We need the Electrotene that's going to sit there. The red alloy that's going to sit there. Glass that runs down through there. And then we need four more bronze ingots. Okay, that's the actual recipe. And then we need the silicon, which we've got that. And we still got a little bit of daylight. Okay, and then to actually make this, we're going to need cutters, pliers, and a gem cutter. Okay. Let me go grab uh, let me go grab some string real quick. And then some sticks. We'll grab those. Okay, the the tools usually aren't too bad, so this shouldn't be too awful. Um, okay, so we need the the cutters. I could have swore we had cutters. I've got pliers. All right, there. We'll go ahead and just throw those into there, and then we're going to need the, oh, let's see, the gem cutter. There's one of those, and then we're going to need... Regular cutters. There's that. And then we'll dump that into there. And there we go. Transfer pipe. I guess order does matter. There's ten of those. Okay. And then we need the fluid transfer node. Uh, this is actually really, really cheap in comparison. We get four of these per craft. So there's that. Okay, and now we can set up our light wells, which I'm going to put these at the top of the tower, just because they're going to get more starlight the higher the elevation. Now, ideally, you're going to want these um, up around, like, Y120, I think, is the cutoff point for, like, maximum efficiency, but I'm not actually all that concerned about that. We're still going to get plenty of liquid starlight from this. So, and we still have a bit of daylight left before um, this has to be set up. Now, this is actually the ceiling, and it's going to go up, but for right now, we're going to put this right here. We're going to put down our stone tank. We're going to put, um, let's see, our transfer pipe is going to set, I 
Let's see, how do I want to do this? We'll do that. And then one right there. We're going to put our light well setting here and here. And then we're going to have our transfer node, one there, one there. And then these are just going to connect in like that. Okay, so it's going to be able to pull the liquid starlight out of the bottom of the light well, and it's going to pump it into the stone fluid tank. It is important that we're pumping out of the bottom. Um, it's not going to work from any other any other side. So, okay, and I'm going to do this just so I can get up here and actually drop items into this. And then what we'll have to do is drop our aquamarine or our rock crystals or whatever we're throwing in there um, into the top of these light wells. And it's going to pump all the liquid starlight down there. This can hold up to 16 buckets, uh, which isn't too bad. We're in a pretty good spot now. Now these quests here, um, we get Illumination Powder, Iron Plate, Silver Coin. We'll go ahead and take that. And then we have another quest here. We get two Creeper Wings, Copper Coin, and Silver Coin. We'll go ahead and take that as well. That way I can go dump this stuff off because I don't really need it on me. Oh, and the next quest is actually the Fosic Resonator. What does it take to make the uh, Fosic Resonator? You know, I actually left my crafting table over there. I didn't mean to, but I can go back and get it later. Um, it's actually pretty cheap. We'll probably craft this next episode and use it. Uh, maybe. Maybe. We got a lot to cover next episode because next episode we're going to be doing the sand generator automation. We're also going to be automating water. Um, so we can make sandstone in seconds as opposed to, I mean, it's, it's still pretty quick right now. But when I start crafting up a lot of sandstone, it gets really, really tedious. I'd rather have just a lot of buckets of water on hand. You know, the fresh water. Um, you know, like a drawer filled of it or something then have to manually craft that ever again because it's not it's not fun at all so okay so the sun's gone down um ideally you want the moon to be up you know a bit higher but this is fine it's gonna it's gonna be running over a period of time so you can see liquid starlight's going in there it's getting pulled out rather quickly and you can see that this is starting to fill up we're at 133 millibuckets 157 165 and so on Okay, so we're going to let this build up. It shouldn't take more than two aquamarine. Um, honestly, we should probably, chances are, we'll probably get about three or four buckets of liquid starlight off of the two aquamarine. Especially with them running at nighttime like this, it should be, um, we should get quite a bit of it. So, um, But I do know it's about wrapping up points, so we're going to end out this episode here. Next episode, when we come back, we'll have our liquid starlight. We're probably not going to complete any quests next episode aside from maybe this one. Um, I don't know that we'll get around to the Fosic Resonator next episode. But what we're going to do is we're going to get our Liquid Starlight. We're going to set up where we're going to be automating sand and get that automated. And then we're going to automate water as well. So I have buckets of fresh water always on hand. So sandstone will be just... We'll have infinite sandstone. I mean, this is going to produce so much sand that we can make... We could, we could craft sandstone constant and never be able to keep up with it. I mean, it's... You know, it's crazy fast, so. Wow, that one already broke on us. Okay, well, we've already got a bucket and a half. So, it's all chance-based, so, you know, this one may take a while to break. Uh, since it's still nighttime, and I know I'm going to need it, I'm going to go ahead and throw another aquamarine in there. Let it start running. That should be fine. So, um, anyways, we're going to end out this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, as always, be sure and hit that like button. And go ahead and subscribe if you're not already. Stay updated with when new videos come out. And I hope to see you guys next time. So until then, as always, do take care, stay safe, and I'll see you guys then.